I kind of wanted to make a video for a while, like my whole thoughts of like, you know, what we've seen uh, for like Black Ops 6 Zombies so far, and my thoughts going into Black Ops 6 Zombies. So um, yeah, this could be a, a juicy one, I think. And uh, people are gonna like it or not like it, but you know what, my opinion, bro. And uh, yeah. All right, so we got Liberty Fools. Now, I think um, Liberty Fools is obviously, you know, kind of getting like a lot of hate and shit right now. And I, and I totally get that. I will agree, visually, it looks appalling. Like it doesn't look like a Zombies map at all. It looks, it looks like I break like a Lover map or like an MP map i wish they like part of me wants to think oh yeah like they could just like you know make it more zombified you know like i don't know more blood on the floor like i don't know like a, like a nighttime skybox or something but it makes sense to have it daytime because it's matching the story timeline and shit like terminus is at nighttime liberty force is during the daytime so i kind of get why like visually it doesn't look like a zombies map but at the same time like alpha mega looks better of zombies map than like this map you, you got what i mean so i kind of get why people are, are like hating, hating like the whole visual aspect of it and i mean i i do agree like i can't lie it is pretty bad i think for the beat fools like this whole map is just based on like casuals to be honest and um, i mean it's kind of obvious because number one the map is just like the map is so open due to like the map size because obviously the maps can be tiny compared to like tourist island second of all i think the camera grinds can be really good on this map again because it's so open and like there's like many camp spots that you just camp at i feel like this map have like a might have like a really good e-trade too maybe because again like we didn't see anything to do with that in like the whole beta and like you know even though like we've seen like liberty falls as it is maybe like the whole easter egg like might change it like the skybox like i don't know like dark either skybox like we've seen the church or something i don't really know i'm just like speculating maybe the easter egg like in liberty falls might just be better than like the whole map itself like we, like we just don't know I, I i think liberty falls might be you know might not be as bad as people think it's on launch because obviously the whole easter egg and stuff so we'll have to see i guess also yeah another thing i want to add real quick is like i think liberty falls is basically the giant and terminus island is actually just shadows of evil because like they're kind of like correlating in like in like that kind of like aspect where like you know one map is like so casual then like the next map is like so like hardcore for like die hard zombie fan i think that's like a good comparison so also with with the liberty falls like pop quest i mean i mean there's no pop quest in the beta as we saw so i hope fingers crossed that there is a pop quest for like liberty falls because if not if it's that easy that's kind of lame like what you just open the like what do you even do again i i, I need to like watch the gameplay back but i think you, you you literally just buy the door or the debris and walk in and like bam like you can just pack lunch i i think that's what you do i might be wrong but it's it's so it's, it's something simple like that so i hope Hopefully we get a pack quest of Liberty Falls as well. That'd, that'd be kind of sick. Also, the ray gun and the jet gun look really, really cool as well. Like they look amazing. Like, like the ray gun looks like so good, dude. Like the whole metallic vibe of it, like it looks so sick. Like, it, it's, it's probably like the best looking ray gun I think I've ever seen in like COD Zombies. Like literally, it looks so good. And yeah, the jet gun's back as well, which is sick. <laughs> it's kind of funny because like the jet gun looks so bad, like if for a person, like like, like the animations, like the, the way like the players like holding it, like it looks so bad. But it's just funny. People that I watch like on the streams, like at Con Next, like, I think it was. Like Duke Dennis got like Ryan 50 like with the jet gun some shit or Mr. Donald JD like bro like it, it seems so OP and hopefully they keep it OP as well like that'd be lit because if they nerf this shit it's just like uh, I don't really get like the whole purpose of like, nerfing stuff unless it's like really really overpowered but I just hope like they keep the ray gun the jet gun the wonder weapons and like even the Terminus Island like they keep them like you know balanced and like make them OP because I mean that's the whole point of like wonder weapons you know like it's there's they're supposed to be like they're supposed to be like overpowered like it makes sense so hopefully they keep it up to that date and uh that will be kind of bug so when it comes to like, the, the, the whole augments and like the AAT machine or like uh, I think it's called the Arsenal Machine. I don't really care for that stuff to be honest. I mean, I think they made Salvage better as well due to like how like annoying it was in Cold War. I think Salvage is like um, to do with like the whole um, the Arsenal Machine as well, which is kind of cool. Like they made, they made Salvage better in this game. It's more useful. One thing that I actually wanted to talk about as well is like the armor in this game is like so ass. I personally just don't like the way the armor is on the walls. And like it's like a billion fucking points like by armor and shit. If anything, I think the armor in Cold War was actually a lot better. Like it was more simple to like buy and stuff. Like, I mean, I get it. Like it was like Salvage or like where it's called in Cold War and like you buy it, boom, done. And it does take longer probably because like it's, it's more rare to like uh, pick out the stuff and then like buy in Cold War. But at the same time, like, I just think in this game, it's basically just wars and armor, so I'm not really a fan of. The whole aspect of, like, this game is basically, it's, like, just, like, war zone, which is a bit meh, but I just don't think it's bad as people say it is, but I'll have to say, I guess. I also don't like the weapon loadouts coming back as well from Cold War. I just prefer, like, spawning, spawning in with, like, a pistol and, like, experiencing it for the first time with, like, a pistol. I get why people, uh, listen, I get why people like loadouts. I totally get it, because they, they want to, like, you know, spawn in with a loadout, get to the point, don't worry about the whole, like, you know, um, what's it, like, just buy weapons, like, on, like, like war buys, like, you know, all that stuff. But I personally just prefer spawning in with like a like a like a pistol, go to the box and like you know get like a good weapon. And also, I think with weapon loadouts, like, it makes a box just useless again. I mean, maybe the box for this game might just be for like the wood weapons, and that's pretty much it, which is a bit meh. 
but I don't know, we'll have to see what happens, but... So I am mid-edit right now, and I honestly forgot to mention weapon rarity upgrades coming back to Black Ops 6. And I saw a tweet from Marco Network, and they said, like, the mystery box is going to be more useful because of that. Because, obviously, um, in this game, they're going to make weapon rarity upgrades more uh, expensive, or, like, you know, um, more useful as well in that way. Because, like, obviously, in the box, you got uh, weapon kits now. So if I put, like, a, I don't know, like, for example, like, a red dot custom stock on, like, a weapon, it'll be in the box on that weapon or on the wall buy as well. So if this can be more rare to, like, you know, get, like, them rarity stuff in the box honestly it might be more useful and i kind of fuck with that also the hub for black Ops zombies is not too great i mean okay it's not bad like it's it's not bad but it could be like a lot better like i get why people like i, I get why people dislike it because it's like an mp hud in zombies which i kind of get and um even though it is that case i still don't think it's that bad i mean obviously i would want like a zombified version of the hud of course who wouldn't but um i mean maybe at launch we'll get like a zombified hud or maybe at launch we can even like you know customize our, our own hud and, and have it like zombified that'd, that'd be kind of cool all right so now let's talk about terminus island so obviously terminus island is, is obviously like a more hardcore zombie map for like you know hardcore zombie players which i totally get i mean first of all visually it looks fucking incredible it looks like a natural zombies map i'm pretty sure Treyarch said like this is like the biggest zombies map they've ever made like around base which is actually nuts i mean i love like the whole like kind of like traveling around like the whole map that like, you do as well like the whole boat uh, stuff and apparently like in like terminus island as well like it's gonna be like um with like the, with like the main quest i think i saw like a little uh teaser video they dropped on on the cod channel that the, the main quest is gonna be like multiple like uh steps in like different locations of the map which is actually kind of sick and like the boat can like come into play with that and i like, just travel like around the whole map like that's like kind of sick i can't lie that's really really cool and triarch also stated like this map's like gonna have like the most east uh most like side quests easter eggs they've ever had in like zombies as well which is actually kind of sick so i'm actually excited for that too because i mean i think side easter eggs are actually so like so good like they're, they're really really cool and uh, honestly it depends like what like stuff they've done for like side easter eggs like, it could be, like, really, really helpful, so... I'm actually excited for that, that's sick. Yeah, also, in Black Ops 6 Zombies, there is a brand new perk coming, um, and it's called Mede Macchiao. Um, I honestly don't really mind this perk. I mean, it's a cool melee perk, I guess, like, you just punch zombies. I am curious if they're gonna bring back, like, any OG perks in, in like, like, in, like, this game. Like, Double Tap? That'd be kind of pog. Um, maybe, like, to Cherry? I don't really know. I mean, what is why I'm... I think Wither's Wine would actually be really good for this game. Ah, but I it makes it too easy. I get that, but, like, it's still, like, Wither's Wine's good, bro. Like, it, it'll be, like, really, really helpful in this game, maybe. Um, that's that's my opinion, though. But hopefully they bring back some, like, new per uh, OG perks. Maybe some new perks that'll be kind of sick. And, uh, yeah, I think this perk would be, uh, kind of, kind of cool. Also, I noticed in, like, the gameplay as well, I think it was, like, I think it was just Torrance Island, that when you, like, give, like, certain locations in, like, in the map, like, whilst, like, you're starting, you're starting from spawn all the way to, like, I don't know, um, to, like, the boat location where, like, you go, you go on the boat. There's like zombies like eating like NPCs, which is which is like actually like kind of cool. I like little details like that. Like that's kind of like sick, and it makes it more like that standard environment where like you know obviously zombies are gonna be on the island, but they're not gonna be like doing anything. So like why not like just like add like add like that little detail to it, like eating like NPCs. Like, that's kind of cool to be honest. There is one thing that I actually really really like that I saw in Black Ops Six Zombies, and it's called mutant injection. And basically you could transfer, uh, you can oh, not transfer, you could transform into like a mangler for like a certain amount of time. And bro, I love that. Like I don't know if it's just just me that that like loves like that like whole injection stuff but i think it's really really cool like we can actually do this finally in zombies i mean in custom zombies you could do beer free i think but i mean i don't think this has ever been done before in zombies like from like triarch themselves so hopefully in future maps like we can like you know be like ever like boss zombies that, that'd be so sick build upgrades are also returning as well which, which i mean i mean that was kind of expected so we got ether shroud got frenzy guard healing aura then we got a new one called energy mine and it basically just creates a mine of it like, pure energy that uh, detonates into, into a rapid succession what i'm reading right now from from cod there um the blog um i mean it's cool i've seen gameplay of it it's kind of cool i think it's the one where like zombies like just fall out of the sky and die that was still in the trailer so that's kind of cool but yeah nothing new i i did expect this to come back i mean and hopefully we get more um new new upgrades as well of like the field upgrades because i mean i don't mind field upgrades and all but it, it would be nice to like, get some new ones instead of like bringing some some back but rest in peace my, my boy uh, ring fire bro ring of fire <laughs> rip <laughs> also with uh, black Ops six zombies we have gumball gums returning yes sir i mean i personally i love the fact that they're bringing gumball gums back so we got the rare gumball gum epic gumball gum legendary gumball gum ultra gumball gum and whimsical gumball gums and they've also changed the colors of, of the gumball gums too which is actually kind of sick um also i love the gumball gum machine like it looks so good i honestly think like this gumball gum machine like the mr peaks one looks better than like the actual don Monty one from black Ops three and also i love the animation as well like where like you where like you um you go to buy it and like it does like a different animation and, and, and like you actually like grab 
grab it instead of like eating it. That's kind of cool. And honestly, it makes more sense, you know what I mean? I, I honestly think Gumball Gums will make this game like a lot more fun as well, like with because like obviously they're gonna come back and maybe a lot more helpful as well in, in this game. Now, would it make the game too easy? Maybe, but honestly, it depends like how the map is as well, or like the gameplay is of like the actual map. And like it depends what map you're playing as well. Like and like it's it's honestly like just different aspects, like how like the game goes, like how you play and all this stuff. So when it comes to like Gumball Gums making the gum uh the game easy, yeah, it, it I mean that aspect does does come to it so i mean me personally i think it's gonna be, gonna be fun regardless so me personally i feel like this game is getting way too much hate or not even like the game maybe like maybe like liberty falls i think the twitter goblins are like just on like the bandwagon all this bullshit like ah bro this this map's gonna be so dog shit on launch da, 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 da. now i'm gonna be honest i think this map would be that bad at launch yes again as i said earlier visually it doesn't look like great but again i think the easter egg will make this map a lot lot better the easter egg will be a lot better than this map like maybe like uh, bro even the easter egg might carry this map to be honest but i don't think this map is gonna be a bad at launch i mean i might be wrong like look like imagine like a month from now like people look back and, and they're like hypes you you were wrong bro you were wrong and bro the thing is like i'm trying to bring positive positivity to like like feedback to like <laughs> the, p the people hating on, on the map because i think t i think people like hating on, on this map like this is a message to you right I think people hitting, hitting on this map. I think that you should just wait until launch, play the map, and then see how the map is itself. And again, the Easter egg might carry the map, you know? You just don't... We don't know. From what we saw, I get it. It looked ass. Like, you know, the gameplay was kind of meh. But again, the Easter egg might carry the map. You know, there might be many changes to the map, like in progress right now, whilst I'm recording this, you know, like we just don't know. So we'll have to see. I don't know if it was just me, but I expected Cold War Zombies 2 to happen. I mean, it was kind of obvious because like, you know, like the Forsaken cutscene that you ended with Ritz and like just walking off and like, you know, acting like he would never come back when like it was, it was obvious that like, he was going to come back and look what happened. You come back so me personally i did expect that and then we got people on twitter or like you know on like you know online like oh bro where's beer free like what why are we like are we ever gonna like get like another like a black ops 3 2.0 like ever again i'm telling you right now we are never getting a beer free game or a game like beer free ever ever again like, i'm sorry to break your heart bro i mean it's kind of obvious that we're not gonna be a free game ever ever again i mean if you want to play the game go and play it sure no problem but it, like me personally, I just think it's so obvious that we're not getting a game like Black Ops 3 ever, like ever again. Like it is one of the best games of all time, or the best zombies game of all time. People just got to accept the fact, like we're not, we're not gonna get it ever again. Move on, bro. If you don't want to, you know, buy Cold, Cold War Zombies or like, um, sorry, Black Ops 6 Zombies, <laughs> Cold War Zombies. Two, I, was, I, was, I was about to say. If you, I mean, it is, but if you don't want to like buy Black Ops 6 Zombies because like, it's Cold War Zombies two and like you didn't like Cold War Zombies, that's fine. But I'm just saying, like, we're not gonna get Beer Free ever again, like, or like a game like Beer Free ever. ever ever again i think people just got to set the fact like that's not gonna happen yeah also we're gonna be getting a, a new zombies map as well before the year ends and honestly this map might be better than better than like liberty falls like honestly like even though we got like four years of like development of like this whole game um and like liberty falls is kind of like disappointing like visually they might just like you know pop out with like a banger zombies map dlc one and it might be better than like you know Prince island or liberty falls like just overall like we just don't know but i think it might be better than liberty falls because again visually <laughs> But we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I'm excited regardless, so. So my final thoughts on Black Ops 6 Zombies, I think will be a solid game. I think this game will be way better than Cold War Zombies. Because, I mean, in Cold War Zombies, we got, like, the whole, like, campaign. I made zombie maps. And honestly, they weren't that bad. I mean, Forsaken was not that great. RBC was not, like, a campaign map. But, it, it, like, that map is dog shit. I'm sorry. That, that map is absolute horseshit. I'm sorry. I don't care what anyone says. It's, it's just true as facts. Um, Malware was great. But in this game, we're not going to get any, like, campaign remakes of, like, zombie maps, which is dope. I also think in this game, we're going to get uh, better maps in, in in the dlc season as i said like a minute ago again we might get dlc zombie maps in this game that might be better than like the launch maps like we just don't know you know what i mean it's happened before so we'll have to see what happens and also i think for this game we we might get like you know a better experience overall to honest better easter eggs but better, better wonder weapons like new perks like you know um other stuff like i think this game will, will genuinely be like one of the best zombies games we might get this that's like a like a hard statement to say right now because the game's not even launched but I genuinely think it might be like one of the best games we've ever got maybe. I don't know. I'm just like saying that out loud and it feels weird to say that out loud because the game's not launched yet. But we'll have to see, you know what I mean? So, but I think this game will genuinely be a solid game and uh, hopefully people st stop the hot fucking old hate bandwagon bullshit. Oh, Liberty Fools, da 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 da. And maybe on, on launch, it might be a, like, it might be a good map. Like we just don't know. So uh, yeah. But yeah, there you go lads. That is my final thoughts on Black Ops 6 Zombies. Again, this is my, this is like my, my just opinion of like the whole like aspect of like the overall feedback on this game. Um. If I miss anything in the comments, let me know that I can like talk over that I, I honestly in this video I might have forgot to like talk about some stuff that I just forgot. So if you guys want to like comment in the video um down uh, down below like what I miss and uh yeah feel free and uh yeah thanks for watching the video I appreciate it. If you guys want to hit that sub button and uh, hit that like button I'd appreciate it and uh yeah I'll see you in the next one.
Adios. Oh, one last thing. Treyarch, stop bringing back the fucking Mangler. No one cares, bro.